Hello and good evening, this is Ruth Pozuelo from Curval.com and uh, today I want to show you a few tips and tricks that have been implemented in the, f oh, in the last months in the Power BI desktop. Um, these are uh, like really nice tricks or like functionality I would say more than tricks that can get easily forgotten, but they're extremely useful. So we will look at how to create tooltips, how to filter top end without creating measures, and how to include and or exclude data in the graphs directly in Power BI. So let's begin. So here we have a very ugly report. <laughs> I mean that, but very useful. So what you can see here, this is a website. And what this report is showing is the number of sessions that came from social networks. The social networks are here. And also how many times somebody click on the share button and which URL was shared. So let's begin with the tooltips. Uh, let's see, you, you see when you hover over the bars that um, a few things appear, right? So we see YouTube, we see your month sessions YouTube. Here we don't see YouTube, but this is because it didn't have any YouTube uh, sessions. So how did I do that? Normally, if, you, if we look at the graph, you see that it's your month and sessions only. So why does the YouTube thing appear and what does it mean? So if we go to the metric or to the measure, this YouTube measure we're doing is calculated the number of sessions where the social net network was YouTube. Okay, so in this case, we had 55 sessions, two of them came from YouTube. And how did I do that? How did I manage to put it there? Well, if you scroll down, you have here tooltips. And this is a very nice feature. Uh, you can, this me measure was actually created as a tooltip. And I have created another one for Facebook. It's exactly the same, it calculates the number of social sessions that came from Facebook. If you put it in there, let's see. Here we have uh, 23 sessions, 8 came from YouTube, 7 from Facebook. And you can continue building measures. Sometimes you already have the measures, like, I mean, it has to be, of course, a number. But you, because that is already a number, you can just drop it in and you say that, that there were four goal completions on that week. So this allows you to give more information to the graphs without actually having to do any filtering or anything. So if there's anything special you want to highlight, you can do it using the tooltips. So this is how you do tooltips. Now let's move to top N. I think this was released like last month, the previous month. Um, but this is a quick way to do top n. Let's say that we would like to know the top n social networks, the top three social ne networks. And um, we don't want to create the measure for that. So what we would do is we go to the filters. We have first have to select it, of course, go to the filters. And then what you will find here is the basic filtering. Before we had basic filtering and advanced filtering, now we have even top n. And we want to show the top three social networks by session. So the ones that bring us the three top that bring us the, the, the highest sessions. We click on apply filter and it gets corrected because this is a very simplified case, but you can imagine all the Tom and cases that you would have with sales products and, and so on and so forth. And you would do it exactly the same way. So you would have products and sales and then you drop in sales here and then you do top 10 or whatever it is. And then you can start doing some filtering on other uh, uh, data. 
So that is easy. And the last thing I want to show you, this is something that um, I discovered by chance. I don't know how, why I miss it, but if you right click here, for example, on the bar chart, let's say that that week is wrong for some reason, or you there's some data here that you don't want. So what you can do is you right click and you say exclude, and it will remove it. Uh, what my problem with these was is that I did not find the like, okay, now I excluded, where is it? Well, it is here. So every time you exclude something, you have to, of course, go to the filters. What should it be? Does you filter something out, right? So if you open it here, you see that the 2016-02 got excluded. And if you remove it, it comes back. Now, you saw exclude, what does include that? <laughs> Perhaps not that obvious, okay? So let's do it. Let's take the 37 and the include. So what it does is just isolate that so you can do uh, a quick data discovery or a dig deeper just into that particular uh, data set or sub, sub data set. Again, if you want to remove that, you can just go into the visual level filters and you'll find it there and you can just remove it. So this is uh, some easy but powerful features that uh, I hope you now remember to use uh, when needed. So this is all for today. If you liked the video, please let me know by liking it. If you have any comments, questions, suggestions, let me know in the comment box or any of the social channels listed below. Please subscribe. I publish Power BI videos every week and have a great, great evening. Bye bye.